Hey guys, what is going on? Death Bath for Life here. Um, I'm going to do a video here. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about my future. Like, what I want to do as a career. You guys are going to be like, this is weird. Why would you talk about it? It's something I want to do. But before I talk about it, a quick update about my cousin. She is doing a lot better. She's still a little bit sedated after what happened last week with her. She's still in the hospital. It's it's gonna be a while, but she's she's doing a a lot a little bit better. Um, it looks like her conditioning's get her, her conditioning her conditions getting better, and I hope her health is back to normal soon. Um, but real quick, um, this is what I plan to do for my future. Um, you guys are probably going to be like, hmm, these, these two things are weird, maybe interesting a little bit, but I kind of want you guys to share this video too, though. Like, show it to your friends, show it to anybody. Um, but you're probably going to want to skip to this part from where I'm starting now. But what I, I'm doing... Or what I want to plan for my future is I want to be either two things. I want to be a seismologist. If you guys are wondering what a seismologist is, is I want to study earthquakes. Now, I know you guys have seen me as a gamer, like all the videos I've posted with the gameplay. But it's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time to become a seismologist, mainly because I've always been fascinated in earthquakes. I'm not going to lie. I live in the state of California. We're the earthquake capital of, well, not the earthquake capital of the world, but we are the most active state besides Alaska, which has a lot of earthquakes, and including Hawaii as well. But they, Hawaii has a lot of volcanoes. But California is literally the earthquake state of the United States. Um, there's really good schools I know. It's kind of hard to get into them because I'm, I'm still working on my high school diploma and I'm I'm going through a, a cr like I'm getting as much credits as I can. I should be graduating within a couple of months, hopefully. But I really want to become a seismologist. The other thing I want to become is, this is going to be crazy, I want to become a meteorologist slash storm chaser. Now, a meteorologist is basically somebody who studies the weather and they learn about it. And it's a very complicated thing. I watch the Weather Channel all the time to learn about s certain things. It's even hard for me to look at sometimes, but or like understand certain problems they give and it's it's like man this seems so fascinating i've been interested in the weather so much um i remember when i was six years old i was asleep here where i live and i got woken up and got scared the crap out of because there was lightning it, there was a thunderstorm that rolled through where i lived and it was about three in the morning i've been awake or about 2 in the morning, my dad comes home, I think, from bringing my sister home from, or, bring my, I think my sister was somewhere or whatever, but, or my dad went to go check on something outside, and there was a flash of lightning right outside of my house, and the thunder scared me. I really thought, like, what the, I thought it was a plane flying over my house. I was like, what the, I got scared. I started crying, but hey, I was a little kid at the time. What do you expect? Um. Another thing with, with storm chasing is basically you chase storms around the country and um, you guys are going to be like, you're crazy. Why do you want to do this? Um, I want to chase tornadoes. And if you guys don't know what a tornado is, it is a rotating column of air that forms out of supercell thunderstorms over the Great Plains like Oklahoma, Texas, Tornado Alley, which extends from North Dakota all the way down to Texas and even across. Hey, a lot of people don't think my state has tornadoes. Yes, they do. We have the most tornadoes 
west of the Rockies. And yeah, the way I learned this is from the Weather Channel. I heard that. Or I, I looked it up on the internet and said, we have the most tornadoes west of the Rockies. Um, the main reason why I wanted to chase tornadoes is... I've seen videos. It's incredibly dangerous. I I know the things. I've watched all the documentaries about it. How how people storm chase now is because a tornado is very unpredictable. I remember watching coverage of a very dangerous tornado that occurred on May thirty first, two thousand thirteen, the El Reno tornado, which was in Oklahoma, and it killed it caught a lot of people off guard there were eight people killed including four storm chasers and a very well-known storm chaser who i watched all the time called tim named tim samaris was unfortunately killed by the tornado and their car was thrown over a half a mile and it really changed everybody's mind about chasing tornadoes people still chase them but they they stay back they don't try to go directly into the tornado or try to like chase it what what tim samaris was trying to do was place a probe to get data on the tornado and the tornado like when the tornado first formed it was huge it it was a mile wide but grew to the largest tornado in history over six not six miles wide that's way too big uh the biggest tornado ever recorded it was 2.6 miles wide that's from, like, I don't know. It's, like, from where I live to the city of, I, I live close to Oakland. So, it's, like, from where I live to downtown Oakland. So, that's how big the tornado was. Imagine that going through an area like this. Luckily, the Bay Area doesn't have tornadoes that bad. We've, we've had them before, but, like, they happened in the 80s and stuff, I think. But it is... is his, his son, Paul S- Samaras, and their friend Carl Young were killed when the car was... They were literally thrown a half a mile. They unfortunately did not survive. But it it's a tough thing to look at. I, I made a presentation. I might show you guys it another time. I don't know if I ever saved it, though. But I'll show you it, and it explains a lot more than what I'm saying. But I really do want to become a chaser. I, I want to chase tornadoes. I've seen the videos. It can be very dangerous. But. Like a lot of people are like. Are you in it for the thrill or something? No. I want to study the storms. I want to know why tornadoes are so destructive. And. I've seen very damaging tornadoes on TV. I saw the more tornado of 2013. Which was was 10 days before the the El Reno Oklahoma tornado. Um. That tornado could have also hit the same area that hit more. And if that tornado had, didn't lift where it lifted, o- Oklahoma City, or south of Oklahoma City, more would have been extremely damaged. Especially by... Uh, the tornado went through more, I think, at maximum width, or what... It was, it was two miles wide at one point along its path. And it was on the ground for 40 minutes. And I think it was a 17 mile path. It was crazy. Um, it did a lot of damage. It killed 23 people. And then the oh, the El Reno tornado was a 16 mile path, but it made a. I'll show you guys what it, it started like this. It, it, tornadoes are supposed to travel northeast, but this one traveled southeast. One like this, kind of like in a U shape, a little bit. And that's what caught storm chasers off guard because it, it, it accelerated its forward speed. It started off going 15 miles per hour. At one point, the tornado was traveling at over 65, or about, I think its forward speed at one point was 60 miles per hour. So this tornado was, it caught a lot of people off guard. That's why they had, unfortunately, die. Um, but what I want to do, the reason why I want to chase these is it's not for the thrill. I want to. I want to learn about it so I can help people who've already been doing stuff like this improve the warning or lead time. And also, I want to say before I end this, when a tornado warning is issued in your area, you need to take it seriously. I know there are people that have recorded and stuff. Like, it helps some scientists understand the damage. 
But sometimes a video is not worth your life. If you have a warning and you don't know if it's going to be a small tornado or a very large tornado, you don't want to be out in the open when that type of storm comes into your area. But um, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is what I want to do when I'm older. It's probably like when I'm like 30 or something because I'm only 19 right now. But thank you guys for watching. Um, quick, one more update. Still not 100% sure when I'm going to start doing my gameplay again. Um, but later on today, there will be another video. And it will be my bowling video like I did last week. So it will be episode number two. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I know a lot of you did. Um, once again, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys later.